Hey, what's up, guys? I don't know about you guys, but I watch a lot of YouTube videos. I came across a YouTube video. It was a Chadtronic video, and he was watching a Nintendo training video, and it was really interesting. So, I was pretty much just binge watching YouTube videos all day and playing Star Wars. It was fun. But anyway, as I was binge watching videos of his and others, I noticed that there was a Game Crazy video. And now I was I was watching some of it, but then I was like, wait a minute, no, I have to react to it myself. So that's pretty much what we're gonna do today. I don't know about you guys, but I actually had a game crazy around my neighborhood when I was little. I don't remember what year it was, but uh, I remember I still had a PS2 and a, a GameCube and an Xbox original. I used to play a lot of GameCube games, but there's like in my uh. It was like a little like mall complex area, like you know, like an outside shopping mall, and it was weird because it was a, a GameStop, and there was a Game Crazy, and eventually that game that Game Crazy turned to a GameStop, and then they took away the other GameStop. I don't know why they had two game stores that were pretty much the same thing, and I was mad because the GameStop that they took away was the GameStop I used to always go to when I was little and get GameCube games. But anyway, I'm just I'm just talking a lot. I don't know why I'm talking so much. We're gonna watch this video and see how it goes. Buddy Keith Croft along with Bobby Payne bringing you the best of Game Crazy at the Game Crazy Selling Skills Challenge. That's where talent, skills, knowledge, and great value come together to create the ultimate games destination. That's right, Keith. We're going to see some fierce competition out there today. They're going to have to give it all they got to be successful out there. Because today's game isn't about scoring points, getting kills, or saving the universe from alien domination. No, Keith, today's game is all about selling. That's right, Bobby, but the kind of selling we're talking about isn't high pressure, some loud, obnoxious pitch. At Game Crazy, selling's about identifying needs, building relationships, and maximizing the gaming experience for our guests. Okay, now that's what I like. I like that. Don't make it cringy like it's a freaking, like, work is a freaking video game, because it's not. Working at Game Crazy is not a video game. Like, I've been to, I've been to GameStop numerous of times. There's a lot of annoying people there, and myself as a as a kid, I was really annoying. And I used to try to get like and read the games that like I was definitely not old enough to get. I used to come back and trading games like constantly every day, but made some I, I met some good people there when I was young. That stuck with that stuck with me from like eight years. Yeah, relationships is key. The success. And it's all done by focusing on five key selling areas hardware, used games, MVP, trades, and pre orders. So let's go down to the game floor where Zelda Scott will take us through our keys to the game. Zelda. Thanks, KC and BP. I'm down here in the His House, you know, the Heezy, with the GC Posse to get the 411 on Game Crazy. Let's start with the hardware. This is like a gamer's ride, dog. And if you sell them the right ride, you got a better chance of selling some 20 inch chrome rims later. No. 20 inch chrome rims later. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't let that slide. I was going to let it slide, but that was so unnecessary. What is she talking about? Chrome wheels? Like, okay. At first, I was like, okay, okay. Uh, I, I, I don't know what they're doing. I guess they're trying to, you know relate with with my people you know my people but um it's getting overboard like once she started talking about the wheels i'm just dog no i'm just no please it's really cringy i i think i'm gonna i'm gonna hurt myself because this is really bad i mean it was cool uh they named her Zelda, or whatever it was cool at first but like this it's starting to get a little racist a little racist it's it's a, a little 
a, a little, I don't know if you guys, guys can see that, but a little racist, just a little racist, all right, just a little racist, okay, please, 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 God, please stop, please, please, okay, let's get into this, I'm scared, okay. Now, for the real hardcore players, the ones that are crazy tight with the GC, we've got the MVP card. The MVP card means upfront revenue for game crazy and higher trade values, special discounts and exclusive tournaments for the players. Wow, this all sounds really nice and all, but if I sign up, will you please stop talking like that? That, that should be included too. I think that should be included, definitely, De definitely. And finally, pre-orders. Now this is for the real serious players, the ones who've got to get the new games first and beat them before anyone else. They can check out our Reserve Now board, check out our product slicks in the Reserve Now binder, put $5 down, and they've got a reservation at the hottest game spot in town, Game Crazy. That's actually really cool. I wish they kept that, but I bet they got rid of that like a long time ago because people were probably running off with them games, man. You know damn well people are coming at They're like, oh, five dollars? Oh, I have to put my information down or anything. I just sign up, five dollars, that's it. I run off with the game, I never come back. Yeah, bro, that's raps. I know employees get uh get to reserve games and stuff, but uh I it's they're really strict about it. My friend used to work there, they're really strict about it. But yeah, that's that would be cool. But yeah. Yeah. Well, that's it from down on the floor, y'all. This is Zelda Scott, and those are the keys to the game. Peace out. Uh, thanks, Zelda. Oh my god, you guys see dude's reaction to, to Zelda or whatever? Bro, even he thinks she acting all crazy and stuff, bro. Yo, this is why Kanye said this, man. And now, let's get ready to rumble as we begin the Game Crazy Sales Challenge with Hardware Sales. Hi, welcome to Game Crazy. Hi. Hi, what system are you interested in today? Um, well, it's my son's birthday and I'm looking for some video games, but I'm really not sure what he wants. All right, what system does he play? Oh, and here he goes asking the right questions. He's off to a good start, Keith. System. You know what? That's what I need. I need a uh, system and some video games. I don't know about you guys, but just listen to this. I'm like really, really confused. So you're trying to get your son some video games for his birthday. Okay, I understand. But you don't know if he has a system or not. And you don't know what games he likes. Like, doesn't, like, I'm confused. So does he already have games or does he not have games? And don't you think, like, I know me as a kid, like, if if I wanted something, shoot, man, I'll keep saying it, bro. Especially when my birthday's coming up, I'll keep saying it. So I don't know why you're confused. Why not? Why get a game from an adult, some random adult, then actually ask your kid, like, you know, just, like, not really, like, you know, beat around the bush with it. Or like just listen to him stalk your kids, something like you know, get the little get the little cup on the on the door or something, listen to what he's saying. Maybe I don't know, ask ask like some friends, his siblings, his I don't know. And maybe like do you have like a husband or like a boyfriend or something? Maybe he bought him some games, maybe he no I don't know, bro. I just don't understand how you come into a GameStop. Oh, it's my son's birthday. And you get it before on Dude, you get on the day of your son's birthday. You don't get before your son's birthday. You know, I'm just, I'm just confused. I'm just, I'm just confused. Soccer moms for you. Just soccer moms for you, man. Soccer moms. I thought soccer moms were more prepared, man. When I used to play soccer, them soccer moms, they were, they had everything on deck, bro. Them soccer moms were cool, bro. I don't care what anybody says. This, this ain't a real soccer mom. This is a fake soccer mom, bro. Fake soccer mom alert. Um. Sorry, I'm just all brand new to this. No, it's fine. Basically, there's three platforms to pick from. You have an Xbox, a PlayStation 2, and a GameCube. Yo, look at that. Yo, he's trying to finesse. He think he's slick. He said three platforms. An Xbox, a GameCube, and a PlayStation. You know damn well. She said she a soccer mom. This is old Timmy. He's probably like 10 years old, boy. Just get him a Game Boy Advance and Pokemon and call it a day. That's all you have to do. But to figure out which one is right for you, I'm gonna have to ask you a couple questions. So how old is your son? 
He's turning 12 and he's in middle school. Hmm, he's turning 12, eh? If I was that associate, I don't know what he's gonna do next, but I would, I would bait him and I'd be like, you know what? How do you feel about mature rated games? How do you feel about shooters? You know, how, how do you feel about shooters, man? I'll be, I'll bait her into to get, getting the Xbox Live and getting Call of Duty, uh, not Call of Duty, Halo. Bruh, <laughs> he's 12 years old, man. I saw 12 year olds playing first person shooters in Xbox Live. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm, tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Okay. What kind of games does he like to play? His favorite is driving games. N no way. No way she just answered her own question. To buy him a freaking driving game. Like, what's the deal? If his favorite game is driving games, then buy him a driving game. Like, you see all those driving games back there? Buy him a driving game. What the hell? All right, how about DVD movies? The critical movie question. Ah, the kids love the movies, Keith. He does have a TV, and this will be in his room, so, you know, that would be great. How about online play? Yo, I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually kind of scared watching this. How the hell does he know to recommend online play to a 12-year-old kid? How the hell does he know that 12-year-olds are going to take over online gaming? How does he know that? How does he know that? How does he, how does he know that Xbox Live isn't even at his peak yet? What's <laughs> okay. Mm. You know, I'm not so comfortable with that. Well, you know, actually, it's pretty safe and secure, but I understand your concerns. But he did a nice job of keeping things moving. How about friends? Will you have friends over? Absolutely. He has two or three buddies that I know he'd have over. All right, so based on what you're telling me, I'd probably recommend a Sony PlayStation 2. It has some great racing titles. You can play up to four players at once. Am I tripping? Or does Sony, does the PlayStation 2 only have two controllers? Two controller slots, you have to hook up, you have to freaking do the LAN thing to have four controllers. I could be completely wrong, but I had like five PlayStation 2s, and I, and I had like a bunch of GameCubes and a, a, one Xbox. I'm pretty sure that he recommended the wrong freaking console, so his ass should be getting fired right now, bro. He recommended, I was like, I thought I was with him, I was like, okay, cool, so you're going to want a GameCube. No, he's like, no, so you're going to want a PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2 probably cost the most, bro. He's trying to finesse, bro. He's trying to finesse, bro. No, no, it does not have four controllers. I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. You can play DVD movies, and while it's not the best online system, you can definitely tap into it later on down the line if you decide to go that route. Now I understand why Game Crazy went under. Because none of their associates know anything about the products that they're selling. What are you talking about? PlayStation is the best online system. No, it wasn't. I don't know anybody that played PlayStation online games. I've seen it on the covers and I've seen it, but no one played PlayStation online games. Online only was popular, like on Steam made online gaming popular. And there was some service for other games on the, on the PC. But for consoles, it was it was Xbox, man. It was Xbox Live. It was this is supposed to be 2003. Online gaming didn't really like hit on consoles until Halo 2 came out. So that's a that's another year from now. Please, I never really heard anyone playing online gaming on PlayStation 2. So this guy said that PlayStation. This guy is just he a he a PlayStation stand. This man said four controllers could be used on the PlayStation 2. Best online gaming, it can do everything, DVDs, this, that, porn, oh my gosh, bro, this guy needs to chill out, he needs to stop. Okay, so, one new copy of Ninja Gaiden. Bet you're gonna try to beat this today, huh? How would you like to buy a game when it's brand new, take it home and beat it? I'm sorry, dog, but you're a crackhead, man. This man just said, I like to buy games brand new, take them home and beat them. So he's just gonna like just go right through it, bring that junk right back. Why do that? Do you do you not know how to finesse? If you know you're just gonna beat a game probably like a week, maybe less than a week, you don't need more than a week, buy the game pre owned. Then you could just bring it back, get your get the credit back, and then you could get an energy. That's what I used to do when I was little. I used to do all this time. I had money, man. Hey, man, they finesse you, so I got I got finesse them back. And mm -hmm. oh, so you're new to game crazy? Do you know about our whole buy play trade thing? 
No, what's that? Well, it's really what we're all about. It sounds like you're the kind of guy who likes to beat a game as soon as you get it. So this is perfect for you. You could take all those games that you've already beaten, trade them in for credit for anything else that you want. I mean, I can take the games I've got at home, bring them in, trade them in, and get new games for less? That's right. Well, I can't do that over at Best Buy. I'm definitely coming here to get all my games. Great. Well, in that case, you're definitely going to need an MVP card. MVP? Did I hear that right? Zelda, what's going on down there? You heard it right, K-Dog. Gale is finessing the crap out of this guy. Alright guys, I can't take no more of this video. It's almost over anyway. Uh, it's just it's cringe. These workers don't even know anything about anything. And this Zelda chick, she's starting to aggravate me. So, I'm going to get back to my One Piece. I hope you guys have a great day. And one thing, with my content, I haven't been uploading that much. I really like making skits. I know my skits are like really short. Uh, I'm gonna start making them longer eventually. But dude, I don't really like reacting that much. But reacting to these videos, they're pretty interesting. Uh, I don't really like reacting to like trendy stuff because everyone does it. It's annoying. I like reacting to like just like you know cool, interesting, older stuff. It's it's cool. It's interesting. It's fun. But anyways, if you guys enjoy it, man, you know, a sub would, would be cool. That would be nice. Uh, 500 subs. Hopefully I get it. If not, oh well. But uh, you guys take care. Have a great day. Peace.